and he will be solving the third question. Okay then. Uh, first one is a uh, multiplicative inverse. Obviously, it's multiplicative inverse. That is the correct answer. Good. What about you, Ahmed? The product of rational number minus two upon three and its additive inverse will be two upon three. It will be two upon three. Hmm. So you, you know what is what would be the additive inverse of minus two upon three? It would be additive inverse. Yes, guys. Two upon three. That will be two upon three. Two upon three, exactly. And you are required to uh, find the product of the rational number minus two upon three and its additive inverse. So simply multiply them. It will be minus four upon three. It will be minus four upon three. Yes, sir. Minus four upon nine, actually. Uh, option yeah, number yeah. D. Uh, it's it's not full. Okay, it's actually minus four upon nine. Okay, na Ahmed. Yes, I. I. Okay. Ha. Huh. Option number D would be the correct answer. Getting it now. Okay. Yes, sir. Arhan still has not joined, no? No. No, sir. Okay. Bo sorry. Both of you solve the third question, then both of you. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah, answer minus two. Minus two. Okay. What about you, Arham? I'm following. Okay. Okay. So is the answer minus one upon five? You are no getting answer, minus okay. one upon five. No, it's no, not in the I'm, option. I'm just solving. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, okay. Solve it. I am also solving it here. Yeah. Ahmed, your answer was coming how much? Minus cancel, two. Cancel, Kareth. Minus two. No, it would be only two. Look, Ar Arham, you also look here. Yes, sir. You take the LCM. Oh, okay. <laughs> After having yeah. grouped the uh, two values like this, you will simply multiply them. Three, three will be getting cancelled. It will cancel six by yes, two. Yes, sir. So here it is minus two upon five, and here it is one upon ten. Five multiplied two here ten. It's Right, so you will take the LCM that is ten. So minus four plus twenty five minus one. Yes, sir. So I'm also is, getting two. You are getting two, no? So it's twenty. Yes, sir. Tw upon ten, that is two here. Yeah. So option number B would be the correct answer. Getting it? Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Ahmed, please try to work on the calculation. Okay, and also take care of the plus minus sign. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, if you remember. In exercise 1.7, I told you guys to solve the rest questions. Remaining questions, we were solving the uh, some questions we have solved. Some of the questions I left for you guys to solve. Have you completed the exercise or not? No, sir. I haven't done because my, I'm, I'm doing studies for my exams. Okay, I understand. What about you, Ahmed? Same, sir. I'm also studying for my science exam. Okay, okay. You are studying for a science exam. Okay. By the way, uh, have you covered, uh, revised all the chapters in science or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Everything is done. Fine. Okay. Okay. Good. Good. If you guys have any doubts from the science uh, in in the science portion, you can ask now as well. Mm, yeah. Sir, yes, sir. So. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. By the way, uh, Ahmed, you must be having the chapter microorganism and their classifications. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes, By the way, can you tell me what were the groups in which microorganism has been classified? Uh, microbes. Microbes or microorganism, both are same thing. 
both yes, are sir. simply two terms right now yes, either you see microorganism or microbes both are same thing yes, all right now i'm asking about the classification right and can i say yes you can also okay. answer just let me uh, i'm waiting for uh, ahmed's answer ahmed at least name yes, some sir. of the some of the groups name now oh groups name yes sir uh, hmm. bacteria virus fungi hmm. and Algae. Algae, yes, algae. Hmm. And protozoa. Back and protozoa. protozoa as well. Right. So that's what I have been asking. Yes, okay. Now. Not... No. Okay. Okay. Basically, I was talking about group. Okay. Now coming back to the question here. See, uh, we had solved questions up to I believe, um, uh, up to question number. Hmm. I think we have solved till where, guys? Anyone um, of you who remember? Which was the last question which we were doing? Yeah, we have to start with uh, start with exercise one point eight. I have. We I have to exercise one point eight. Okay. Uh, we haven't covered all the questions in exercise point exercise one point seven. Okay. 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 So let's start from question number nine, and also look at question number five, six, seven, and eight. Huh? The yes, sir, best this way to easy. This was easy, na? Mm. Yes, question sir. number nine. Yes, have a look it. at this question. Yes, exactly. Just assume the unknown value as x. Then you will be easy. Yeah, uh, you will be able to solve it easily. Now, question number nine here. Simply, you have to uh, put the value of x and y given in the given equation, and you will be getting the answer. Right? Okay. Each yes, of sir. you solve one question. Ahmed, you solve uh, this two. one. Two. Okay. Oh. Arhan, you solve this one. Sorry, Arham, you solve question number two. Okay, sir. Okay, these are not question. These are basically the values of x and y given. Hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. Hmm. So I got it. Yes. What is your answer? Um. Uh. Four upon five. Four upon five. Okay. Here, Alcim would be ten. Four plus five, right? Okay. Divided yes, by ten again, it would be four minus five here. Right? Five. So it would be nine upon ten multiplied ten upon minus one. Okay. So the supposed value should be minus nine here, no? The supposed value would be uh, minus nine. I didn't see Atham. it in the in the question. Find x plus y. I thought huh? x plus y minus x minus y. I didn't no, see no, it. No, no, no. Okay, no. It's, it's actually small. sign of division. Yeah, I should have zoomed it more. Okay, look, it's not sign of division here. Okay, now yes, guys. Sir. Okay, Ahmed, you also uh, look at the sign. Okay, so our division sign yeah. here. Mm -hmm. By the way, have we got your answer yet or not? Uh, no, sir. I'm still working. Okay, okay. While Ahmed is solving the question, Arham, you can move on to question number ten. Yes, sir. Hmm. Solve this one. <laughs> Arham is still is not here, no. Rane no. join me in class. Okay. <laughs>
10, question number 10 you have to divide, right? Question number 10 here. The cost of 7 to upon 3 meters of rope is given here as 12, 3 by 4. Find its cost per meter. Here you have to divide. You have to assume here. Okay, now. Yes, here it's, it's given that 7 to upon 3 meters of rope is, is rupees 2 or 3 upon 4. Right now. Hmm. So you, you will assume the value x here. Okay, okay. First try to solve it. Then I will explain. Yeah. So 5 upon. You are getting how much, Ahmed? 5 upon 2, sir. 5 upon 2 for question number 3. I am uh, a yeah, yeah. Nine. Yes. question number nine, uh, three. Three, okay. Okay, two upon. All right, all right. you're solving question number three right now. Okay. okay. I actually five wrote the values of question number four here. Okay, let me quickly check that. Five upon four plus minus one upon three divided five upon four minus minus one upon three that will be plus one upon three right okay so it will be it will be else would be two or 15 minus four here divided two or 15 plus four here so it would be 11 upon two or multiplied two or upon 19 so supposed value should be 11 upon 19 now Ahmed Ahmed Aap can say 11 upon 19 hona chahiye. Okay. Right now. Did you got this solution or not? Okay. So please, uh, you need to practice more questions, Ahmed. Huh? Okay. Do one thing. You solve question number four also. Aap question number four be solved kare. Okay. Okay, sir. Okay. <clears throat> I'm getting 92 upon 153. 92 upon? 153. 153 for question number 10. Yes, sir. Okay, let's have a look at what the question is saying here. Now, question number 10 in this cost of 7, 2 by 3 meter is given rupees 2 or 3 by 4. First thing you will convert it into proper fraction here. Right now? Yeah. 23 upon, upon 3 divided by hmm. 51 upon 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. The cost of ethna meter it's given as 51 upon 51 4. upon 4. Right? Okay. Yes, we sir. know that we know that's uh, 23 by 3 meter here cost rupees 51 upon 4. Right now. Hmm. Now let us consider yeah. a number x here. Let us consider a number x here so what would it mean that x multiplied okay let's say this much cost of uh, this much of rope uh, rope cost this much rupees now if i were to okay. suppose a number x here then x multiplied 23 upon 3 meter would cost how much hmm. yeah yes sir yes that's what we are trying to find it out here yeah. Getting it now. So we have considered a number x here. So x multiplied to 23 upon 3 meter would be equal to 51 upon 4. Or we can find out x simply from here. It would be 51 upon 4 multiplied 3 upon 23. Yes? Yeah. So it okay. will become 153 upon 92. It will become 153, 153 upon, upon 92. 92. So that should be okay. the supposed value. 153 upon yes, 92. Sir. Okay, see if we can do anything in it further. We can, we, have, we can do it in mixed fraction. We can convert it into mixed fraction. Mixed fraction. 
Hmm. How can we write it in mixed fraction? So can we write it like this? Uh, can we write it like this? Uh, ninety-two plus sixty-one. Yeah, can we write yes, it like sir. this? One into sixty-one yes, upon ninety-two. Yes, sir. One sixty-one ninety-two. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Now there's another way to look at uh look at this question also. Yeah. What is that another way? Here, the cost of whole roof is given it now, right now. Hmm. And what was yes, the sir. question asking? Find the cost per meter. So. Alternatively, this question can be solved like this. Ahmed, you also pay attention to the question, or if you are solving question, uh, another question, solve them first. Right now, so cost of twenty-three upon three meter is rupees fifty-one upon four arham. Yes. So sir. what cost yes. of one meter would be fifty-one upon four multiplied three upon twenty-three. Yes. Without sir. taking yeah. the x, we can also solve this question. You know, by the yes, linear sir. method, how we solve questions. Mm -hmm. So again, yes, it would be one hundred and fifty-three upon ninety-two. In that manner, yeah. also it can be solved. Other questions are also of the same nature. Question number eleven is also of the same nature, where the cost of seven upon three meters of cloth is this much, right now three hundred and one upon four rupees. So find the cost of cloth per meter. So again, we will say that the cost of seven upon three meters, since it is Three hundred one upon four rupees. So cost of one meter would be how much? Three hundred and four up. Uh, three hundred one upon four. Three uh, multiplied by three upon three seven. Three upon seven. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So directly hmm. it can be solved. Also in exam you can uh, like in rough you can do it, but in exam you have to. Yes, sir. Uh, do it by considering the number x here. Yeah. Okay. Good. Seven one the seven four the twenty eight. Hmm. I do the count. Um, Seven fours are twenty-eight. Yeah. Forty-three. One twenty-nine upon four. Right now. Yeah. Yes, and sir. it can be written like this, I believe. Right. I believe it can be written like this: thirty-one multiplied five upon four. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yes. Right yes. Now. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, Ahmed, have you solved question number four? Ah, uh, yes, sir. Okay, what was the answer? Minus seventeen upon eleven. Minus seventeen upon eleven. Yes, okay, sir. let me quickly check that. So it's two upon seven plus four upon three. Okay, minus. Let me create some space. Okay, I'm I'm solving it here. Okay, now not not sufficient space there. Twenty one. Yes, Minus seven twenty one. So you will be getting it as thirty four upon twenty one multiplied twenty one upon minus twenty two. Twenty one twenty one getting cancelled. Seventeen. Thirty four upon twenty two. Yes. Yes, Ahmed. Well done. That is correct. Okay. That is going to be minus seventeen upon eleven. Now, Ahmed, also look at the solution of question number ten and eleven. Okay. So here in the two questions, what we were doing, Arham, explain the question. What we are supposed to do in the two questions? Um, sir, and um, the cost of one in the tenth one, the cost of one meter will be uh, become as x. Um, hmm. the both the cost, uh, the cost of, um, the cost of seven. Uh, we just change the mixed fraction into uh, improper fractions. And then x multiplied by twenty three, uh, which will become the meters, twenty twenty three upon three, uh, equals to um uh, fifty one upon three, and we'll transpose the twenty three upon three there, and we will solve it. Mm -hmm. That's what we did here. Okay, good here. Look, in the question number ten and question number eleven, what is given? Ahmed, basically, you see, cost of, for example, question number two, cost of seven. Into two upon three. That means twenty three upon three meter of rope is itna. It's given this much. We need to find what would be the cost of one meter. So you know, in order to find the cost of one meter, we can simply do it like this. Since this much costs this much, so one meter would be fifty one upon four multiplied three upon twenty three meter, right? Yes. Okay. If you yes, remember sir. in the chapter, we have solved questions of such nature uh, many times. Okay. Now question number two and 
13 these are very easy okay okay give the give them a try ahmed you solve question number 12 arham you solve question number 13 Oh, yes, okay. sir. Mm -hmm. Here also you can consider a number X. Okay. Hmm. Yes, sir. Hmm. Okay, you simplified it, Arham. <clears throat> so, yes, sir. Here. Say it four upon. Question number two. It is four upon three. Four upon three. Four yeah. upon three. Okay, let's uh, let's check that. So let's suppose now our number ko assume ke x. Okay, let us consider a number x. Okay, with which minus 33 upon 16 will be divided and supposedly we will be getting minus 11 upon 4. Let's check that. So minus 33 upon 16, okay, divided by x should be giving minus 11 upon 4, right? Okay, or can we write it like this, right? Minus 33 upon or minus 33 divided by minus 3 upon 16 divided by x equals to minus 7 upon 4. We can also write it like this. If you were to transpose this fraction on the right hand side, here it is in division, here it will be in multiplication, right? It will be 16 upon minus 33. Okay. Minus sign is getting cancelled. Okay. Is your answer coming 4 upon 3? Yes, sir. Question number 2, 4 upon 3. Okay, then. Hmm. Uh, like. I also got it. Uh, what is your answer? Uh, minus two upon five. Minus. Two upon five. Minus two upon five. Okay, let's quickly I check that. The... Yes, Ahmed. Missing the sorry. Okay. So it's just thirty-five minus twenty-one plus sixty. Okay. Minus 31 upon 35. Yeah. And here it's going to be 31 upon 14. And hmm, here yes, it's uh, it's going to be um, 91 minus 60. That is how much? Uh, minus 29. 31. Minus 31. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Minus 31 upon 35. Right. Multiplied. Sorry. Divided by 14 upon 31, 31 upon 14. Oh, we can write it like this minus 31 upon 35 multiplied 14 upon 31. 14 upon 31. Yes. Okay, so minus 2 upon 5. That is correct here, uh, Arham. Very good. Okay. So in the same manner, yes, question number 14 is also easy. Divide the sum of these two numbers by their difference. First add them and then divide them with Div their difference. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, question number 15. Both of you try question number 15. Yes, sir. Both of you.
Right, it's the same way we did question number 10 and 11. Right? If 24 trousers of equal size can be prepared in 54 meters of cloth. Okay. What length of cloth is required for each trouser? Yes. In this question also, you have to basically divide it. Okay. In the yes, same sir. manner, it can be solved also. Okay, solve it then. <laughs> First, write whatever is given in the question. Okay, hmm, before you yes, attempt sir. the question, just note down the things given in the question. Sir, I guess I got it. Yes, what is the answer? A nine upon four meters. Nine upon four meters. Okay, let's check that. So first thing we will write down that uh, this 24 trousers which are given here. Okay, so we know here that 24 trousers. You are getting how much? Nine upon four, sir. Nine upon four. Okay, okay. If both of you are getting the same answer, most probably it would be uh, correct then. You know that 24 trousers are there, are being prepared from 54 meter of cloth, right? Of cloth yes, here. Okay. What else do we know? That total length of the cloth is 54 meter. Yeah. So total length is equal to 54 meter. Now, question asks what length of cloth is required for each trouser, right? So for 24 yes, trousers, according to question, A slash Q, that means according to question, 24 trousers require 54 meter. So one trouser will be requiring simply 54 upon 24. Good. Hmm. Yes, sir. So that is giving you how much? Nine upon four. Great. Nine upon four. Or nine two four. upon four. Exactly. Or uh, yeah, simply nine upon four. Or we can also write it in decimal also. In decimal, it will be two point two, two point, point five. five. No, two not two point five. It not two point five. Two point five multiplied four is equal to ten now. So in yeah. decimal, it will be two point two five. Getting it now. Um, that, yes, is a sir, yeah. <laughs> that is a required yes, answer. Okay, so like this exercise 1.7 is completed. Moving on to exercise 1.8. Now, here you have to find the rational number between the two given rational number. So you guys know yeah. there were two methods to find rational numbers. Okay, depending upon the type of num uh, number you have. For example, if you have got the like fractions. Yes, sir. Okay in which the denominators are same. Okay, for example, two upon five, eight upon five. You can easily find out rational numbers between oh, yes, them. Sir. Yes, yeah. sir. Right now, three upon five, four upon five, six upon five, seven upon five, like this. Hmm. Getting it now, guys. Now, Ahmed and yes, Arham, you guys see, if you were to have a number like this, two upon three, and uh, let's say you have got a number two upon two. In this case, the denominators so are not same. Multiply the denominators by any number like 10. Mm -hmm. And then we get numbers. We can do it like this. Of first, you it's better to take the LCM. So LCM of 3 and 2 is 6. 6. Yes, sir. The LCM is 6. So we will try to equate the denominator first. Right now? Yes, sir. Let's try to make, uh, make the uh, denominators equal first. So in order to do that, you need to multiply this number with 2. So numerator also will be multiplied with two, right? Mm. Okay, yes, because sir. we can't change the number. I mean, the equivalent number will be same if you multiply both numerator and denominator with the same number, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and here it will be multiplied with? Three. Three. Okay, so you are getting four upon six and six, six upon, upon six. six here. But uh, still, the problem is that I will be only able to find one rational number here is still hmm. so in that yes, case sir. one step was to take the LCM second step would be to multiply with 10 
or multiply by 20 or like this. So we can Huge. multiply the given rational number. Getting it, Ahmed Arham. So 4 upon yes, 6. Sir. These are the concepts we have already discussed in the class. Okay, now. Yes, uh, like this, right? 10 into 10. Okay. So it will be 40 upon 60. And then 60 upon 60. Getting it? So you will be yes, finding sir. the numbers you will be getting. It, it would be like this. 41 upon 60, 42 upon 60, till hmm. you reach to the number 60 59. upon 60. Yeah, yes, up to 59 upon 60. Good. So the concept is very simple. Okay, solve the yes, questions. Sir. Take out any questions. Each of you take two questions. Both of you take two questions. Uh, four, four and five. Four and five. Arham. Ahmed, you also pick two questions. Yes, sir. Okay, I'll choose the six and seven. Six and seven, good. Solve them. <laughs> sir, uh, is it necessary for do uh, for us to do uh, the first step, uh, like finding the LCM, then multiply? Finding the LCM? No, that is not necessary. Depending upon the question, it varies. Okay. All right now. Okay. Yeah. It just depends upon the question. Sir, I have found the sixth one. The sixth one. Okay. The sixth one. Uh, what is the answer? Uh, so it's, uh, sorry. it's minus 7 upon 2, 20. Mm -hmm. Then? Yes, and minus 6 upon 20, minus 5 upon 20, minus 4 upon 20, minus 3 upon 20, minus 2 upon 20, minus 1 upon 20, and mm -hmm. 0 upon 20, 1 upon 20, 2 upon 20. 2.20. That is correct, Amal. Good, good. Solve next question then. Okay. It's better to first take the LCMs. Mm, okay. Yes, for all question number, for all the four questions given here. For, okay, for all the five questions from three to seven. Sorry, from four to seven. Question number three, LCMs are, uh, sorry, the denominators are all the same. So no need to take the LCM then. Therefore, four, five, and six, seven, you have to take the LCM. Yes, sir. Okay. I also got it. Yes. What is the answer of first one? Uh, the first one, uh, it is 3 upon 10 and uh, 4 upon 10. 3 upon 10 and 4 upon 10. Yes, sir. Okay. 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 And the second one is um, 21 upon 80 and 22 mm -hmm. upon 80 and all. Please Ten. repeat. Please repeat. Uh, so from 21 upon 80, 80, and 20, uh, 22 upon 80, 23 upon 80, and so on. Till okay. uh, 39. Okay, okay. Got it. Good. Hmm. Yes, sir. Ahmed, for question number seven. Yes, sir. Uh, the answer is 120, uh, 1 upon 200, and... 122 upon 200, 123 upon 200, 124 upon 200, 125 upon 200, 126 upon 200, 127 upon 200, and, and so on. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, 
Okay, okay. So here you would have multiplied with forty. Okay, and here Sorry. you would have multiplied with fifty. Good. Yes, All right, guys. So with this exercise, uh, by the way, this was the last exercise of the chapter. Okay, and here the chapter yes, finishes from our teacher as well. Okay. So yeah. we have sufficient time to begin with the next chapter also. Okay now. Yes, sir. So for the next chapter, I have taken some interesting questions, right? Okay. The next yes, chapter was linear equation in one variables, right? In class, in higher yes, classes, sir. you will be studying linear equation in two variables. Two variables. Yes, sir. Right. Okay. So first of all, as you guys. I believe are already aware what we discuss in the chapter. You haven't forgotten, I believe. Okay, coefficient yeah. constant variable, right? You yes, guys sir. are aware of this, no? In an expression, mm -hmm. there are terms, right? Yes, sir. Two terms. There yeah. can be one term, two term, three term, four term. Yeah. Or more than that as well. Coefficient yeah. is the non-variable term, non-variable part of the term. That is yes, coefficient. Sir. Okay. But we consider coefficient in a very general. It's it's taken as a very general, uh, in a general yes, manner. Sir. Okay now, for example, if you have a number like this, x y square z. If someone were to ask you what would be the coefficient of y square, then the answer would One. be x x z. No, x z. Oh, yes sir. Yes yes. If yes. you remember, or if you have numbers like this, two x y z. If someone were to ask you what would be the coefficient of x here, two. no, of x here, you would say two y z, right? Yes, sir. Like this. Yeah. Okay. So if we have a number like this, seven x. So simply the coefficient of x is seven here. Yeah. Okay. Now let's uh, solve few basic questions. Then we will move ahead with some more questions. Now here you have to reduce the following linear equation. You guys know how to approach with these questions, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Now questions are three, but people are only two. Mm, both nines are here. Okay. Pick out. Uh, pick you. Uh, pick yourself. Any question? Um. So I will pick one. Okay. Uh, and two. Okay. Good. Solve the questions then. So I got it. Yes. What equals is the answer? T. T equals to minus, minus two. two. Okay. Also, you can verify it also by putting yes, it back can. into the equation. Hmm. Right now. Multiply by minus two. Mm -hmm. So first, you will bring the like terms together. Sixty minus t. It will be minus, minus eleven plus one. Right. Yeah. Five t equals to minus ten, or t is equal to minus two. Good. Understand. Yeah. That is correct. Ahmed, what about you? So shall I do um third one? Yeah, third one. Say, third yeah. one. Do the third one. Hmm. It's x equals to ten. X equals to ten. C. Okay. Ten. Five yes, x sir. minus two x equals to eighteen plus two whole. Thirty equals to three x. X equals yes. to ten. Very good. That is correct. Okay, Ahmed, you also attempt the third one. Both of you. Yes,
The solution of the which of the following equation is neither a fraction. It shouldn't be in the form of a upon b. Neither an integer. It should not be an integer. Also, integer is what? Huh? A I'm bag sure. that contains whole numbers and negatives of whole numbers. Natural numbers. Yes, sir. Yeah. Neither it should be zero. Neither it should be one, two, three like this. Or neither it should be minus one, minus two. What does the question want to say? You will be able one. to answer only after. Having solved it, right? It could be decimal. It could yeah. be decimal. Okay. So solve it first. Yeah. Okay. The question is to both of you. Question number one is for both of you. Okay now. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Solve it. Yes, for option number A, what are you guys getting? It's a zero. It's zero. Yeah. Zero upon uh, minus two, so it will become zero. Mm hmm. <laughs> okay. For B, what do you think, Ahmed or Han? Uh, so I'm getting minus, minus three, uh, minus five upon three. So we can put it in decimals. No, 
option uh, option number c here here you see uh, what answer you are getting for option number c guys 4x plus... well, this, is, this is b this is c here okay for hmm. b it would be 5 4x equals to 20 x equals to 5 okay now so <coughs> So that wouldn't be the uh, that is not our answer because question says that solution of which of the following is neither a fraction nor an integer, right? So my answer is B. Your so answer is B here. B. No, no. Read the question now. Which of them is neither a fraction nor an integer? Five yeah. is a five is a what? Um, a whole number integer. Right now. So it does not fit in the criteria. So how if do you read get, the question properly? Get... Yes. How I got oh, five? Sorry. No, no, so I have mixed up. I've I've written B instead of C. Yeah, that's I'm getting C as the answer. C as the answer. C as the answer. So in C, yes, if sir. you were to see what are we getting? 4x minus x equals to 2 minus 7. Ahmed, you also pay attention here. So it's 4x minus x, that is 3x equals to minus 5 and x equals to hmm. minus 5 upon 3. Yes, sir, that's right. what I was saying. Exactly. So here you see is neither yes, a fraction yes. nor a integer. So huh? uh, this is a fraction, right? Minus 5 upon 3. Yeah, yes, we can, minus 5 upon 3. <laughs> I believe the question intends to say here as per the nature of the question the question intends to mention a fraction that is in positive here. Hmm? Also, okay, also, also, like, um, like, if if you have values like two upon seven, huh, three upon five, hmm. or five upon three, all of them are fraction. Even if the answer was like hmm. this, hmm? so we can yeah. convert them in decimal also. So yes, we sir. are basically, if you were to convert them into decimal. Then what are you simply doing? You are just adjusting your answer according to the question, which says that neither a fraction mm -hmm. nor an integer. Because I can convert that decimal back into the fraction, then, then it will make no sense. The now. answer is the same. The answer remains same now. It's the same mm -hmm. fraction here. But the fraction, I believe, it's referring to the positive fraction here. So minus 5 yes, upon sir. 3 would be the correct answer here. Option number C fits yeah. in it here. Okay, just to eliminate the doubt, solve question number D also. So 5x minus x equals to 2 all here. Yeah, 4x equals to 2 all, x equals to 3 here. So here in this one, you are getting 3. In this one, you are getting 5. And in this one, you are getting 0. Minus 5 upon 3. Yeah. Yeah, first one is no. 0. For C, it's minus 5 upon 3. So option number C yeah. would be the correct answer. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. One more thing. Read the question carefully the solutions of which of the following equations is neither a fraction nor an integer huh? mm. so zero is an integer five is an integer three is an integer while yes, minus five upon three is not an integer not an integer yeah. but it yes, fits sir. in the criteria of being a fraction but here mm. the quotient refers to the fractions like uh, the positive fractions okay so yes, here sir. minus 5 upon 3, we can understand it is a rational number rather than a fraction. Because rational number mm -hmm. is very specific. Uh, rational, in rational number, you have got A and B in the form of A upon B, where B is not equal to 0. And also where yes, A yes, and sir. B are integers here. Yes, sir. While when you would have studied the chapter fraction in class 5 and 6, there you were not dealing with the negative in numbers, right now? Yes, so it's yeah. referring to the a fraction purely. Ahmed, getting it now? Ahmed, are you confused? To no, sir. Okay. Ahmed, are you there or not? Okay. So he's in the meeting, though. Yeah, he's in the meeting, but I believe he's not listening. Anyways, question number two. The solution of this equation, ax plus b equals to zero is... You have to find it in the terms of x here. I believe yes, you can solve it. It's easy. Ahmed, are you yes, there sir. or not? You can solve it. 
वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स एंड ऑल्सो टेल द नेचर ऑफ दस ऑल्सो वेदर इट्स इंटीजियर और <clears throat> also here now you can i believe you can uh, understand what i was trying to say in the first question here options is given as a fraction a rational number hmm yes sir getting it aram yes sir okay. yes sir <clears throat> in your schools like uh, is uh, anso conducted national science olympiad yes sir it's uh, i guess it's now now only it's going on it's going on yes okay. sir have you participated or not No sir. Why? Sir, the exams are coming and uh, in in my school, like every every one or two months there are exams. So what, so, Aham? So what if exams so, are coming? Sir. Exams will always be there, na. Exams will always be there. It's an opportunity to like excel yourself. Okay, you get to realize your potential. Ah. Huh. Yes sir. Okay, so if next time if the form comes. Okay then surely make sure that you apply for it okay now Yes sir mm. Okay by the way did you got the answer or not Ahmed is here or not um, in the class uh, I He left he's... I guess Okay okay No sir he's not there Okay he might be having connection yeah. issues then yes Um I'm getting x equals to 28 upon 9 minus 9 So I guess it's it is not it cannot be solved. X equals to twenty eight upon minus nine. Minus nine. Okay, why it cannot be solved? You are getting x equals to minus twenty eight upon minus twenty eight upon minus nine. nine. Huh? X here yes, is sir. minus twenty eight upon nine. So you just have to tell uh, tell about its nature. No, it's a rational number. Yeah. Oh yes, sir. It's a rational number. I didn't think. Right now, okay. Question number four. The answer is going to be. I was thinking of a number for one, sir. Um, transposition, sir. Transposition. Okay. We have two minutes left. Quickly solve question number five also. Okay. Yes, sir. So let me write the question: five x upon three mi minus four equals to two x upon five. Then the numerical value of two x minus seven will be what? Right. So if you yes, were sir. able. Uh, अगर हम एक्स की वैल्यू फाइन कर लेते हैं वी विल बी पुटिंग दैट वैल्यू हियर देन यू कैन गेट आवर आंसर वी विल बी गेटिंग आवर आंसर ओके यस सर सर शुड आई सॉल्व या क्विकली सॉल्व इट यस सर ओके By the way, what time you come back from your school? Ah, uh, sir, two thirty. By two thirty. Okay. Yes, sir. How many periods you are? Uh, you guys have eight, in your sir, school? Eight. Eight periods. Forty minutes, eight lectures. Forty-five minutes, eight eight lectures. Okay. Okay.
So x value will be coming. Are you getting sixty upon ninety? Yes, I am getting sixty upon nineteen. Uh, okay, and then you will be putting it here. Okay, it will be one twenty upon nineteen minus seven, right? So nineteen. How so? Two multiplied by sixty upon ninety. It would be one twenty upon nineteen now. Yes, sir. 